Luke chapter 1. Dedication to Theophilus. For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us, even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write unto thee in order, most excellent Theophilus, that thou mightest know the certainty of those things, wherein thou hast been instructed, birth of John the Baptist foretold. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, of the course of Abia, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, rocking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. And they had no children, because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went to, into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. And the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for the prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And, but the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for the prayer is heard, and thy wife shall bear a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall be great in the, light of the, uh, in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor drink, drink, strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall be, shall he turn to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him in the spirit and powers of Elias, El Elijah, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel, that, that stand in the presence of God, and am sent to speak unto thee, and to sue thee, these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus had the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he took, looked on me, 
to take away my reproach among men. Birth of Jesus foretold. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the, and the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she had also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Mary visits Elizabeth. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And when it is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my room for joy and blessed is she that believed for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord Mary's song of praise the magnificent the mythicat and Mary said my soul doth magnify the Lord and my spirit had rejoiced in God my Savior for he had regarded the lowest estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty had done to me great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He had sowed strength with his arm. He had scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He had put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He had filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he had sent empty away. He had opened his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. As he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. And Mary abode with her about three months and returned to her own house. The birth of John the Baptist.
Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son. And her neighbors and her cousins heard how the Lord had sued great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her. And it came to pass that on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they called him Zacharias after the name of his father. And his mother answered and said, Not so, but he shall be called John. And they said unto her, There is none of thy kindred that is called by this name. And they made signs to his father, how he would have called him called. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, His name is John. And they marveled all. And his mouth was opened immediately, and his tongue loosened. He spoke and praised God. And fear came on all that dwelt round about them. And all these sayings were noised abroad throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all they that heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, what manner of child shall this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. Zacharias' prophecy. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people and had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke by the mouth, of his holy prophets, which have been seen since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, they, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And though child shall be called the prophet of the highest, for though shall go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high had visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, and was in deserts till the day of his suing unto Israel. Luke chapter 2 The birth of Jesus Christ And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrus was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth a firstborn son, her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger, because there was no room for them in the inn, the shepherds and the angels. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord 
shone round about them, and they were so afraid, were so sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. And suddenly there was, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go, let us now go on, even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord had made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. And when they had seen it, they had known abroad the saying, which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were hold, told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Jesus presented at the temple. And when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opened the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see his death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then looked he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us, though thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people, of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simon blessed him, blessed them, and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yes, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Daniel, Ban of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age and had lived with her husband seventy years from her virginity.
and she was a widow for about four score and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers day, night and day. And she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord, and spoke of him to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. The return to Nazareth. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee, to their own city Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. The boy Jesus in the temple. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why has thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? And they understood not the saying which he spoke unto them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth, and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. Chapter 3 John the Baptist Prepares the Way now in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea and Herod being Tetrarch of Galilee and his brother Philip Tetrarch of Iteria and of the region of Trachonitis and Lyonis, Lysanus, the Tetrarch of Abilene, Annas and Cyphus being the high priest, the word of God came unto John, the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Esau, Esaias, the prophet saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight, Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth. And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers who had warned you to flee from the wrath to come, Bring forth therefore fruits of fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree therefore which bringeth not forth good fruit is who down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, 
what shall we do then? He answered and said unto them, He that had two coats, let him impart to him that had none, and he that had meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans, publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not. John answered, saying unto them, All, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the lat latchet of those shoes, whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and will gather the wheat into his gardener. But the chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable. And many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people. But Herod the Tetrarch, being reproved by him for Herodias, his brother's, his brother's wife's, Philip's, brother Philip's wife, and for, and for all the evils which Herod had done. Added yet this above all, that he shut up John in prison. Now, when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying the heaven was open. And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came to heaven which said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. Genealogy of Jesus Christ And Jesus himself began to be about thirty years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli, which was the son of Matthew, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Malachi, which was the son of Janna, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Matthias, which was the son of Amos, which was the son of Neum, which was the son of Isli, which was the son of N Nagi, which was the son of Matt, which was the son of Matthias, which was the son of Simeon, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joanna, which was the son of Risha, which was the son of Zerubbabel, which was the son of Salathiel, which was the son of Neri, which was the son of Malachi, which was the son of Adi, which was the son of Kosam, which was the son of Alamdam, which was the son of Ir, which was the son of Jose, which was the son of Ezer, which was the son of Joram, which was the son of Matthew, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Simon, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Jonah, which was the which was the son of Malia. Malia which was the son of Menon, which was the son of Mattia, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David, which was the son of Jesse, which was the son of Obed, which was the son of Booz, which was the son of Salmon, which was the son of Nassim, which was the son of Amandab, which was the son of Aram, which was the son of Isram, which was the son of 
Bears, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Jacob, which was the son of Isaac, which was the son of Abraham, which was the son of Terah, which was the son of Nachor, which was the son of Sarut, which was the son of Re Rag, Rag, which was the son of Phalak, which was the son of Heber, which was the son of Zala, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Aphrax, which was the son of Sem, which was the son of Noah, which was the son of Lamesh, which was the son of Masatula, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Mali, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, and which was the son of God. Luke chapter 4, The Temptation of Jesus And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan, and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being forty days tempted by the, of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, he did, days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, if thou be the Son of God, command this stone, that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomever, whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And he brought him to Jerusalem, and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from thence. Hence, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Jesus begins his ministry. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. Jesus rejected at Nazareth. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, as his customs was. He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Esau. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of the sight of the blind to the blind, to set a liberty dumb that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, and he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all dumb that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this, day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bare him witness, and wondered at the gracious words which preceded out of his mouth. And they said 
is not this son, Joseph's son. And he said unto them, Yes, well surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself whatsoever we have her, her done in Cap Capernaum. Do also here in thy country. Verily, and he said, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted is in his own country. But I tell you of a truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them was Eliza sent save unto Sarapta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elas the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, saving Nahum the Syrian, and all, and all day in the synagogue, when they heard these things were filled with wrath, and rose up and thrust them out of thy, the city, and led him unto the brow of the hill, whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. Jesus heals a man with an unclean demon, and came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath days. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. And in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee, though Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the mist, he came out of him, and heard, hurt him not. And they were all amazed, and spoke among themselves, saying, What a word is this! For with authority and power he commanded the unclean spirits, and they came out. And the, frame, and the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. Jesus heals many, and he arose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for, for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her, and immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with divers diseases brought them unto him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. The devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuking them suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. Jesus preaches in synagogues. And when it was day, he departed and went into a desert place. And the people sought him, and came unto him and stayed, and stayed him, that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. Luke chapter 5 Jesus calls the first disciples. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Gen and saw two ships standing by the lake. 
But the fishermen were gone out of Hiddam and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at the word I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net broke. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and dumb and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. When, when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the drought of the fishes which they had taken. And, his, and so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed them, him. Jesus cleanses the leper, a leper. And it came to pass when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus fell on his face and besought him saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou can make me clean. And he put forth his hand and touched him saying, I will be thou clean, and immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go and show thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing according as Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. But so much the more went there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed, Jesus heals a paralytic. And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And behold, men brought in a bed a man which was taken with a palsy, and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him to in because of the multitude, they went upon the housetop and let him down through the tiling with his couch, couch into the mist before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemy? Who can forgive sin but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answering said unto them, what reason ye in your hearts? Whether, whether it is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Rise up and walk? But that ye may know that the Son of Man had power upon earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy couch, and go into thine house. And immediately he rose up before them, and took up that whereon he lay 
and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. Jesus calls Levi. And after these things he went forth and saw a publican named Levi sitting at the receipt of custom, and he said unto him, Follow me. And he left all, rose up, and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his own house. And there was a great company of publicans and of others that sat down with dumb. But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do ye eat and drink with publicans and sinners? And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are whole need, need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. A question about fasting. And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often, and make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees, but dine, eat, and drink? And he said unto them, Can ye make the children of the bride chamber fast, while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. And he spoke also a parable unto them. No man put it a piece of new garment upon an old, if otherwise then both of then both the new make it a rent, and the piece that was taken out of the new agreed, not with the old. And no man put it new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bubbles, bottles, and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. No man also having drunk Old wine straight away desired new, for he said the old is better. Luke chapter 6 Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. And it came to pass on the second Sabbath after the first that he went through the cornfields, and his disciples plucked the ears corn and did eat, rubbing them in their hands. And certain of the Pharisees said unto them, Why do ye that which is not lawful to do on the Sabbath days? And Jesus answering them said, Have ye not read so much as this? What David did when himself was an hungered and they which were with him, how he went into the house of God, and did take and eat in the shoe bread, and gave also to them that were with him, which is not lawful to eat, but for the priests alone. And he said unto them, that the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. A man with a withered hand, and it came to pass also on another Sabbath that he entered into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and Pharisees watched him, whether he would heal on the Sabbath day, that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts, and said to the man which had the withered, which had the withered hand, Rise up and stand forth in the midst. And he rose and stood forth. And then said Jesus unto them, I will ask you one thing. It is, is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil? to save life or to destroy it. And looking round about upon them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he did so, and his hand 
was restored whole as the other. And they were filled with madness and communed one with another what they might do to Jesus, the twelve apostles. And it came to pass in those days that he went out onto, into the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. And when it was day, he called unto him his disciples, and of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles, Simon, whom he also named Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James, the son of Aphesius, and Simon called Zalots, and Judas, the brother of James, and Judas, Iscariot, which also was the traitor. Jesus ministers to a great multitude, and he came down with them and stood in the plain and the company of his disciples and a great multitude of them multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases and they that were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed <coughs> And the whole multitude sought to touch him. For there went virtue out of him and healed them all. The Beatitudes. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil, for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner put their fathers unto the prophets. Jesus pronounces woes. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Love your enemies. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you. Bless them that curse you, and pray for them which des despitefully use you. And unto him that smite in thee on the, the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that take it away, thy cloak forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asks it of thee. And of him that take away thy goods, ask them not again. As, and as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what thank ye have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if ye lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what thank ye have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend hoping for nothing again and your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. But ye therefore merciful as your father also is merciful. Judging others. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. 
Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure pressed down and shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye met with all, it shall be measured to you again. And he spoke a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? The disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. And why beholdest thou the, mo the mote that is in the brother's eye, but perceivest not the beam that is in thy own eye? Either how, how, can thou say to thy brother, Brother, let me pull out the mote that is in thy eye, when ye, thou thyself beholdest not the beam that is in thy own eye. Thou hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to pull out the mote that is in thy brother's eye. A tree and its fruit. For a good tree bring it not forth corrupt fruit, neither doth a corrupt tree brought forth good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble brush, brush bush gather they die, die, die grapes. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bring it forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Build your house on the rock. And why call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Whosoever cometh to me and hear my sayings and do them, do it them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house, and dig deep, and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently <coughs> upon that house, and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that hear it and do it not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. Luke chapter 7 Jesus heals a centurion servant. Now when he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. And a certain centurion servant who was dear unto him was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying, that he was worthy for whom he should do this. For he loved our nation, and he had built as a synagogue. Then Jesus went with him dumb. And when he was, he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in the word, and my servant shall be healed. For I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers, and I say unto one, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he do it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and turned him about, 
And he said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. And they that were sent returning to the house found the servant whole that had been sick. Jesus raises a widow's, a, a widow's son. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nan, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the briar, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he, and he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God had visited his people. And this rumor of him went forth throughout all Judea, and throughout all the region round about, messengers from John the Baptist. And the disciples of John showed him of all these things, and John calling unto him, two of his disciples sent them to Jesus, saying, Art thou he that should come, or look we for another? When the men were come unto him, they said, John Baptist had sent us unto thee, saying, Art thou he that should come, or look we for another? And in that same hour he cured many of their infirmities and plagues and evil spirit unto many that were blind he gave sight then jesus answering said unto them go your way and tell john what things ye have seen and heard how the that the blind see the lame walk the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear, the dead are raised to the poor, to the poor the gospel is preached. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. And when the messengers of John were departed, he began to speak unto the people concerning John. What went ye out into the wilderness for to see? A reed shaken with the wind. But what went ye out for to see? A man clo clothed in soft remnant. Behold, they, they which are gorgeously appa appareled and live delicately are in king's courts. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet. Yes, I say unto you, and much more than a prophet. That is he of whom it is written, Behold, I sent my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. For I say unto you, among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And all the people that heard him and the publicans justified God, being baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. And the Lord said, Whereunto then shall I liken the men of this generation? And unto what are they like? They are like unto children sitting in the marketplace, and calling one to another, saying, we have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned to you, and ye have not whipped, wept. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine. 
and ye say, He had a devil. The Son of Man is come eating and drinking, and ye say, Behold, a gluttonous man, and a wine biber, biber, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of all her children. A sinful woman forgiven. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with them. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat, <coughs> sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment, and stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee which had Biden Biden him saw it, he spoke within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that touched at him, for he, she is a sinner. And Jesus answering said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he said, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors, the one owed five hundred pence and the other fifty. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he who f whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou has rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman I entered into thine house, thou gavest me no water for my feet, but she had washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. So thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came and had not ceased to kiss my feet, my head with oil, thou didst not anoint. But this woman had anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I say unto thee her sins, which are many are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same love it little. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with them began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgave it sins also? And he said to the woman, Thy faith hath saved thee. Go in peace.
Thank you.